We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you welcome a to you and welcome to my first Vlogmas. I'm super excited to be attempting Vlogmas for the first time and today I just wanted to uh, tell you about what I'm going to be sharing with you during vlogmas and um, we are going to decorate the tree today as well so yeah it's day one there's so much to cover I've written a list uh, Happy Vlogmas everyone, it's day one and I am going to be attempting to bring you the Australian Vlogmas. Well, my version of the Australian Vlogmas anyway and um, I'm, I'm really, really excited. I have to put a big thanks out there to Autumn Beckman, the original Vlogmas queen who's um, taken some of her precious time to help me kind of prepare for this because honestly I had no idea what to expect and um, I think I'm setting myself a pretty ambitious goal to upload every day as much as I've tried to plan out what I'm going to share with you I'm sure there are going to be things that throw those plans clear out of the water. I wanted to bring you a mix of luxury content but also vlogmas with an Australian theme. Obviously I'm in Australia and that makes sense and we would not have to wear this fluffy warm hat during Christmas but this is probably the most traditional Christmas attire that I have because normally um, we'd be wearing shorts and a t-shirt. It's uh, pretty subtropical here. We're actually in the middle of a La Nina event which is a lot of rain and uh, so therefore you know dressing up and drinking hot coffee and cocoa and things like that is um, yeah it's probably not how we do Christmas and I know there are a lot of people that watch my channel that aren't in the southern hemisphere so I thought it, you might be interested to see how we celebrate Christmas here or at least how me and my husband do so that's what I want to bring you over the next 24, 25 days, if I can make it that far. There's a few things that um, I want to introduce in this first vlog that will kind of um, open us up. So uh, the first thing is um, this nighty that I'm wearing is by Peter Alexander. And um, it's got the Grinch and I will uh, insert a picture over here um, of this nighty. Now it's currently available. Peter Alexander is an Australian um, and very famous for his sleepwear, especially featuring dogs. So if you love dogs and you like sleeping, then you'll probably find something that you really like. None of this content is sponsored. I just want to shout out to Australian businesses during this month. And hopefully if you see something that you like, they might pick up some new customers and you might pick up a new brand that you like to follow. A couple of other things to share with you about my little Vlogmas overview. I will have advent calendars and some people were talking to me, I asked you months ago um, on my YouTube community page and also Instagram, what would you like to see from Vlogmas? Some people said, oh God, not an advent calendar. Look, I have got two, but I've gotten two that are Australian businesses. So they are not luxury advent calendars. And I actually think that I'll be getting a lot of value from these advent calendars based on what I saw. So I'm gonna show you those in just a minute and we will open up the first parcel from each one. I've also bought some Christmas decorations that I wanted to show you before we put them on the tree and they're from uh, Etsy and some other small suppliers. They're Australian themed Christmas decorations so we'll look at those before we put them on the tree and there's some absolutely fun ones. Speaking of trees, this is my mini little tree that I bought from West Elm uh, Pottery Barn a couple of years ago when we were renovating our house and we just needed a token little tree. And um, I've put all of my Chanel ribbons from different holiday packaging. God knows where I've kept them. But I have this box of ribbons. Are you like me? Do you keep your ribbons? 
Anyway, I had this box of ribbons and they just happened to be in reds and whites and a couple of black ones. And so I tied them into little bows and put them on the tree to have a little bit of a luxury touch to the Christmas decorations here in the closet. I've also got some little mini boxes from Louis Vuitton, Fendi and Chanel just to put under the dream Christmas tree. My Christmas tree will not be looking like that this year. I'm not sure if yours, if yours will either. But um, to me, Christmas is not about luxury per se. Christmas is about all of the fun pastimes and traditions that make it, you know, just a bit different and a bit special from every other time of year. Also in the background, you may have met her last year, was my fabulous Henry Bendel Nutcracker. Her name's Natasha. She's been shopping. She's fabulous. She's obviously, I'd say she's probably Russian, judging by her outfit. Um, she's very, very fabulous. And I so look forward to bringing her out each year. And I'm so happy that I actually bought her before Henry Bendel shut down. Now, she was 118 Australian dollars. She's very substantial. She's got a lot of details on her. You could probably find her on eBay. Um, I might actually see if I can find her on eBay. And if I can, I will link it in the description below because if you loved Henry Bendel and you love Christmas, you should have a Natasha in your life. Now, it hasn't arrived yet, but there will be my first ever luxury giveaway during vlogmas uh it's for two reasons one it's the holiday season and wouldn't it be great to pick up some luxury during the holidays for free absolutely so i am waiting for that to arrive and when it does uh, stay tuned for vlogmas because i'll announce it here and how you can enter that giveaway it's small but i'm excited to be doing my first luxury giveaway on my channel we are going to be decorating the tree shortly so before we do that i want to show you some of the decorations that i picked up from some etsy traders um, for the tree this year I tend to pick up kitschy, fun decorations um, every year, so I'm not a serious tree person. My tree is covered in lots of fun decorations. Um, it's probably because I don't have little children. I'm the little child. <laughs> um, so I just want to show you those, and then we'll have a look at the advent calendars, and then we'll go and decorate the tree. So where I can, I will link all of these suppliers in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. So this first one, and I've been collecting these now for over a month, I think, um, because I wanted to get in early and make sure that I could get them. I saw these when I started Googling um, Australian small businesses on TikTok and Instagram, and that's how I found quite a lot of these places. And this one here comes from Sweet Olive Creations, and they have sent this beautiful little card here that says, Thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Um, they're all handmade, and there's a bit of an Australian native theme going on. So in here, and I have already checked these out, obviously. These are handmade baubles with dried Australian natives in them. And I love the pink theme. I'm going to try and hold that back from the ring light there so that you can see. These are just so pretty. There's a set of four. Here's another one. God knows how they have been able to place these little dried flowers and things inside of these baubles. This one's ferns. And finally, some little blossoms and dried grass as well. So they're really, really sweet and something that's a little bit of nature and a little bit pink, which I like. I like my Christmas to be merry and bright and um, a bit Christmassy as well. So this next decoration... I've, got this, I've had this little I'm so excited to actually get into this stockpile of things that I have been purchasing um, this one is by paper boat press and these are the birds of Australia 
and I had to get the pink bird which is the galah um, and these birds are an absolute menace but they're beautiful and um, I think you can get away with being a menace if you're beautiful these are handmade uh, ceramic uh, decorations and um, yeah you can have a little look at him so they make a lot of noise they eat um, all of the berries and bits and pieces in the trees and make an awful mess and they're usually in really large groups but uh, I love them because they're pink still on the bird area uh, another bird famous in Australia a bird that can attack you during the mating nesting season is the magpie and uh, this is a little handmade magpie that I got from a local market so I can't lick this one but um, these uh, little magpies are <laughs> if you know you know if you the fact that it's got a little Christmas scarf on which it would never have on because you know it's a magpie but if you know magpies, you know that these, like, this is a bit funny. Um, Australian humour is kind of sarcastic and weird. Um, and this little guy peeking out from the tree um, is sure to freak out some people that are anti-birds. There's a lot of people scared of birds in this country because a lot of the birds will attack you. Okay, a couple of more things. Now, I found these on Etsy again. And again, as I said, I'm going to link all of these suppliers. And they just did these cute little prints um, that were all Australian decorations and you could buy them in a set and then you just have to weave through some ribbon or a hanger yourself. But these were all um, Australian versions of Christmas and I really loved them. So this one says, um, pool rules, let it snow somewhere else. Uh, and that's Santa kicking back in the pool with an esky or chili bin if you're from New Zealand or a ice box I suppose you might call it uh, in another pool floaty um, this is pretty much what most Australians would love to be doing on Christmas Day this one is the famous pavlova and it says let it snow which is dusting icing sugar over the top you will see me make my famous pavlova during vlogmas so stay tuned for that here we have a fairy bread Christmas tree. I will not be making fairy bread, but fairy bread is literally white bread, buttered quite heavily and sprinkled with hundreds and thousands. And uh, it's a treat that would normally be had at children's birthday parties. It's a very Australian thing. Um, it sounds revolting, but it's actually quite edible. And the final is Santa in a singlet top and he says it's the most wonderful time for a beer instead of it's the most wonderful time of the year. Again, very Australian centric. So these are um, a little touch of home and I thought that they would be a lot of fun on our Christmas tree. The final decoration I had to laugh when I picked it up initially. I thought this koala looks like a drag queen. And then I saw the back of the pack and it's called DIY Drag Queen Ornament Diva the Koala. Get creative and have fun dressing up Diva the Koala. To decorate this drag queen, simply insert flowers and feathers to your liking into the little holes provided. And this is by a company called La La Land. I bought quite a few of these because I know some people who will love them. So we are going to decorate Diva the Koala. So here's a little kit of goodies to decorate <laughs> um, the head. So I am going to, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. So let's see what we can come up with here. And there she is. Isn't she fabulous? What a fun idea for a Christmas bauble. Well, I don't think all my videos are going to be this long. I hope not because um, I haven't even gotten to decorating the tree yet. But let's have a look at our advent calendars. This one here is from Adore Beauty and Adore were one of the original online beauty stores. So they've never had a, as far as I know, they've never had a standalone boutique. They were started by a female Australian entrepreneur who was working on a beauty counter and I think the story of a door is fabulous. And if I can find the podcast of that story, um, I will share it below because I think it's really inspiring. Uh, so this is just a 12-day advent calendar 
Mariah Carey's royalty checks won't be en the only thing glowing these holidays, which is a cheeky little nod to All I Want for Christmas Is You. This is a 12-day calendar, and I did ask you on Instagram, what do you do with a 12-day calendar? Do you start on day 13? Uh, do you start on day one? Do you start on Christmas Day? And there were a lot of mixed answers, but the one I liked the most was that you start on day one and you open one every second day until Christmas. That absolutely suits me. This is a beauty calendar, um, and so is the other one I'm going to show you. So we are going to start with day one. And we've got an aspect extreme sea balm in here for travel which is fabulous so this is the antioxidant serum containing vitamin c and peptides to help promote skin elasticity and illuminate appearance and you just use this one in the morning so always make sure that you're wearing sunscreen obviously but yeah aspect extreme see this is a really good product this is a really, really good product. So I'm really happy to have a travel sized version of this, especially because we'll be getting away a little bit during these, this holiday season. Now this calendar cost $150 and I think it's got about $300 worth of products inside. So that was a no brainer for me and none of them are stickers and ordinary bits and pieces like the Chanel advent calendar that's over $800. This one is a bit heavier. Now, this one I researched uh, Australian Advent calendars and it's by Peony Parcel. Uh, again, they'll be linked below. And um, every year they do an Advent calendar and it's a pamper focus. So, tis the season to be pampered. And I have opened this to check it because I was like, what is in there? It's so heavy. And it says, enjoy. And it's actually Autumn Beckman style. It's all wrapped up and they all have little numbers on them. Um, it actually smells really good in here. You can tell that it's a pamper pack. Uh, so this is going to be a fun one to work through as well. This one cost $200 and I think it's valued at over $500. So I thought that that was great value and um, I couldn't find a lot of reviews online. So I thought I might do one. So parcel number one, and I love that they've got ribbon on them and everything. Like it's, it's a bit special, isn't it? Okay. How fun is this? Okay. So we've got Aceology Lifting Treatment Mask. Pressing rewind on the first signs of aging. Too late. This is designed with next generation Korean technology to support a miracle blend of ingredients. It's a peel off mask. So you paint it on, leave it on your face for half an hour and then peel it off. So maybe I might do a mask with you one of these days. All right, so it's time to go and decorate the tree. Just a sneak peek for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a wardrobe tour with you. So I have had a lot of requests for it and I've kind of reluctantly gone, yeah, maybe. I think it fits nicely into Vlogmas and so I will be sharing that on tomorrow's video. I'm going to go and decorate the Christmas tree now. So here's the before shot of the tree and this is the first time that I've placed it on this old trunk. Uh, this tree surround here is from Pillow Talk and it was about $59.95. I will link that in the description box too. And this Santa is an oldie from TK Maxx. Um, so yeah, we are going to make this thing sing. We are ready to decorate. So I've laid out all of the feature decorations here, of which there are many. We've got the dancing girls, we've got the hearts, we've got the joker, the frog, all the stars. We've got our Henry Bendel, Minnie Natasha and Belle. We've got all of our new decorations over here. We have got a special decoration remembering my husband's parents here. 
these little handcrafted German uh, Christmas decorations. We've got lots of pink, we've got flamingos, we've got birds and angels and magic carriages and bird cages. And then we've got some little handmade ones as well. I've also got my beautiful Waterford decorations here. This one was a gift from a dear friend. And this one I purchased in New York, uh, my favorite place. I will never go there in winter time though. It would be freezing cold. And then over here, we've got all of the leftover balls and baubles, which I kind of just use to fill in any gaps that are remaining. <laughs> I think it's called the Fifth Avenue Shopfront Tree. So it actually has a flat back, which is great if you live in a small house like we do. Um, I'm really happy with it. If you're wondering where my husband is, he's not interested at all in decorating the Christmas tree. So I have not been selfishly curating this tree. And he loves pink. He picked our pink front door. So I'm just gonna say it, uh, it's not just me. Anyway, uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on day two of Vlogmas. Um, let me know what you think of my first Vlogmas day. What are your Christmas tree, favourite Christmas tree decorations? I'd really love to know.